Welcome to the Make Life Your Bitch podcast. I'm your host, Brittany Alicia. Greatness is a decision and your birthright. You deserve to love the woman looking back at you in the mirror. This show is for the purpose-driven female entrepreneur who is committed to only counting the time she gets back up. The woman who is ready to ignite the flame within, find her voice, and use the power of her story to transform the lives of those around her. This is your weekly fuel to inspire you to action, where I'll be sharing inspirational stories, real talks with thought leaders and successful entrepreneurs from around the world, and provide you with actionable success strategies for creating a business you love. I'm a content marketing coach, and I'm committed to helping you as an online creator and entrepreneur wherever you are to turn your dreams into a reality, to help you transform your messaging so you can create a genuine connection with your audience and grow your income online. You are far more powerful and stronger than you will ever imagine. We are the warriors. You were born for this. Let's make life your bitch. Hello and welcome to the Make Life Your Bitch podcast. I am your host, Brittany Alicia, and I'm really excited about today's episode. We are going to be talking all about the fifth dimension. And so for any of you who have not heard, or maybe you have and you've been following along and you're sitting on the fence, It's time to jump into the Dimensions three-day intensive, where we will be deep diving into the fifth dimension, understanding it, how to create your own routine, rituals, and your own manifestation practices, understanding how this all works. I'm very much a why person. For anyone who knows and follows human design, you'll understand this in the fact that I'm a 2-4 self-projected projector, so I'm very much someone who goes down the rabbit hole of needing to know why things work the way they do. And so if you're someone who's been trying to figure it out, I'm your person because that is literally the things that I love to do is go down those rabbit holes so that you don't have to. I'm going to try my best in this episode to explain the fifth dimension. But as I go through it, you're going to understand why this needs to be shared with you live so that you can ask questions because today I'm going raw. I'm letting it channel through me and whatever the universe wants me to share with you, I am going to because there's, it's such a deep conversation. So you might have to listen to this episode over and over and over again to really understand what I'm sharing with you. Anytime I've shared this with anyone else, they get to the point where they get really tired because they're trying to absorb it. (laughs) And they're like, I'm going to have to listen to this or I'm going to have to go through this process again of you telling me because it can be a lot. So um, I'm not going to go into how many dimensions there are because that's so controversial. Some people say 11, some say 12, some say there's hundreds. So I'm not going to go into that. I'm only going to talk about the fifth dimension and the dimensions below that. Let's let's begin with the first dimension. <laughs> so we've all taken, you know, science class and that kind of thing. We know about atoms, electrons, particles, all that kind of stuff. The first dimension is any of those atoms and particles, the things we cannot see, however they make up, they make up an object, right? That is really where the first dimension begins. And this is in order to actually manifest and understand abundance. The key thing is awareness or so many people say consciousness, right? So if you've ever heard anyone say like, you know, you're raising your level of consciousness, How this works is that you are in all of the dimensions at all times, but where is your level of awareness? Are you operating in a 3D world or in the 5D? And so with that being said, you're going to be operating in all of them, like I said, at the same time, but as you go higher in the dimensions, you have more awareness of the ones below you. So I hope that makes sense. Um, If I was in front of my clients right now, I'd be looking at them, waiting for a response. I cannot wait for a response from you. (laughs) So say there's 1D, 2D, 3D, 4D, 5D. That's what we're talking about today. In order to be in the 5D, you will have an awareness of 4, 3, 2, 1. 
All right, how I'm going to explain the fifth dimension and how we get to that state is there's going to be three parts to understanding the dimensions. And I'm going to talk about them separately because if I try and explain each dimension to you all at once, it's going to go way over your head even more. So we're going to talk about it in the sense of time. There's going to be a part about the pathways and looking at it from like an object standpoint so that you can visualize how this all works. And the third one being is our level of awareness and how understanding how it relates. So that's the one I'm going to start with. So like I said, so 1D is particles. That's often what so many people study is they're trying to understand the particles. In the past, they've very much said that, you know, if you look at electrons and how they go around, um, you see one electron going around, but actually what people are starting to find and through their research is that it's more like a cloud and it's only through a raised awareness that you see the one particle moving. So with that being said, if you were to, in this moment, look out into your room and maybe look at the wall. Maybe you want to look out the window and where normally you would see clouds, you connect more to those clouds and actually start to see a texture. Maybe you see an image. So there's so many times in our life that we're just in the hustle and bustle and we're not actually seeing all, all the little details of things. And when it comes to business, that's often what keeps us stuck is we end up redoing things over and over is because we don't have that level of awareness to slow down. And so I talk about, you know, that from a standpoint of content and living your life in, you know, a previous episode. And like, that's one of the things I love to do with my clients is I love to talk about mindset manifestation and relate it to their business because I really think it is one big circle. So with the 1D, that is, you know, the atoms, the electrons, your particles, all that kind of stuff. Everything that makes up matter or physical objects, even the air around you, right? 2D is the awareness of the five senses. So smell, taste, touch, listening, and seeing, right? It's an awareness of the five senses, but it's not actually where you are tapping into any of those senses. You just have an awareness of them. Now the 3D is where most of us operate from, right? Like they very much say that we are in a 3D world. However, I think, and I don't know if it's because of social media and with technology advancements that people are becoming and learning more about meditation and like increased awareness because they're actually able to talk to more people about it. But they do say now we're operating between 3D and 4D, not just 3D. But so the 3D is where the thoughts, your feelings, you know, that thoughts, feeling actions place. That's kind of, that is very much in my opinion, a 3D, um, a 3D model of manifestation. Because, you know, if you read things like The Secret or you've watched the movie, they talk about the importance of being in a high vibration, being positive, looking, you know, think thoughts, feelings, actions, changing your thoughts. But in this episode, I'm and in the dimensions where I'm intensive, I'm going to explain to you why the thoughts, feelings, actions, why that's important and how to put yourself in that high vibe state and stuff. So the 3D, like I said, is the thoughts, the feelings, anything that happens that creates that feeling for you okay now the 4d is where you're an observer of your thoughts so it's thoughts on thoughts kind of thing and so you're outside of you know the 5d you maybe aren't bringing the feelings into it but you're an observer of your thoughts and this is where a lot of people meditate from is from a place of an observing standpoint right now the 5d is where we no longer are thinking about the thoughts, but we're in a state of bliss, joy, 
happiness. And we see the world as this beautiful place where there's nothing wrong with it, right? There's no thoughts or feelings that are like, this is wrong, this is wrong, this needs to be changed. That is very much a 3D thought. 4D is becoming aware or becoming conscious of your thoughts being maybe negative, And we don't have a bunch of judgment essentially towards those things. So when you're thinking about 1D, 2D, 3D, 4D, 5D, right? So what I said was that if you're hanging out and you have a level of consciousness and an awareness in the 5D, do you see now how when you're in that 5D, you have the awareness of the levels below you or the dimensions below you? Are you ready to dive deeper into understanding the fifth dimension, how to quantum leap, and how to utilize the compound effect? These concepts are super trendy right now, but as someone who has experienced trauma and may still like a little bit of control, trusting blindly can be very difficult for me until I understood how it all works. Even I didn't know how I manifested my dream vehicle, home, man, my baby girl, and hitting six figures, but now I do. Every program I have ever taken on manifestation told me to feel energy and trust. I tried everything from being positive, gratitude lists, connecting with crystals, clearing my chakras, and following the moon cycles. I needed more than just to trust. I needed to know how and why. This is your warning sign though, that once you do learn this, You'll never look at energy and manifestation the same again. Dimensions is a three-day intensive where you will become equipped with the manifestation sequence. We will deep dive into how it works, how to stay in the vibe, and manifest your dream life, all for only $333. Join now by heading to the description for the link. So if we were to think about time now, and I'm only going to talk about this in 3D, 4D, 5D, The 3D time is moving forward, right? As we understand time, when you're in a 3D realm, like dimension and 3D thought process is time only moves forward. We can't go back in time, right? The 4D is time goes forward and back. If you think to yourself now, if we're thinking that there's thoughts on thoughts, this could be a memory from the past, for example, okay? So it, when we think about time, it's like you can all of a sudden think about a memory from the past and how it elicits feelings and emotions. That is a 4D process. Now with the 5D, there is no forward, back. There's like that op- ability to like jump and that's where we get into the quantum leap concept. So I hope you are all following along. Like I said, you might need to listen to this again. And like I said, I'm just, I'm going to share this based on what's being channeled through me in this moment. There is so much to explain with this, but I'm I'm trying to, I like to make it more simple for my clients. Now, if we were to think about this in a objects standpoint. So if we were to think about 1D, This would essentially be like a line. I want you to visualize this, okay? It'd be like a single line where we wouldn't be looking at like, what is the width of it? It's just a single line. 2D would be length and width, right? So if you were to maybe draw a square. 3D is where you have length, width, and height, right? So a box. And so if you remember from anything you visualized where all of a sudden you start going into like 4D objects um, or 5D objects and you start to look at it as how they compound onto each other. If you were to, you know, you could Google right now 5D object, okay? And what I want you to look at is all those lines in that 5D object. So here's how to quantum leap, all right? And the compound effect, because I want you to be able to visualize this. So with the 3D, there's, if we think about time, time only moves forward. And so we put out a visualization or a desire. We identify 
what we want and we start trying to create a plan for how we're going to do that, right? So it is a level of control. If you were to look at an object that is essentially a box, you can see that there's only so many lines, so many pathways, if it were to be your map, for example. If we were to think of it from a place of the 4D and there being more lines, you have a higher level of awareness. But if we think about 5D, this is where the quantum hangs out. And if you were to look at your object and you were to see all these different lines, think of it as those are pathways. So those are all pathways in order for what you desire for it to come to you. So this is something where, you know, you might say to yourself, I want to make 10K this month, but you are focused on it has to be in my business. And it, and then all of a sudden you start going down the rabbit hole of, well, I need this many clients, this many people in my program. That's 3D thinking, okay? If we're thinking about 5D, it's like, I want to make 10K this month, or I want to bring in and manifest 10K this month. And if you put that out to the universe and you hold that excitement and that belief that it's coming, you tap into the visualization of what it's going to be like for you to receive that, what it actually does because, and you, you know, vibrate at a frequency of excitement and joy, right? Like we talked about bliss, joy, happiness, and you operate up there. And that's why visualizations and meditation and that is so important is or journaling, whatever works best for you. Maybe you are someone who doesn't like to meditate. And like I said, we're going to talk about that stuff and help you plan your own thing in dimensions. But with that, all of a sudden you're going to see how you tapping into that higher energy is and maintaining that energy puts you in that realm of not going down the rabbit hole of trying to control how it's going to come to you, okay? And so by putting it out into the quantum and the 5D, all of a sudden there's all these different pathways. So those are times when all of a sudden something might come to you where it's like, well, I want to make, or like, you know, I want to call in $10,000 this month. Well, if that's the case and you put it out to the universe, you identify the thoughts of, or like the feelings of how that's going to feel when you receive that without saying how it's going to come to you. You have like so many more pathways and it's going to come through the path of least resistance. So I hope you're able to actually visualize that. There's going to be times where you are able to get yourself up to the 5D, right? I like to look at it as like as if it's um, steps up and being able to visualize this for myself because I'm very visual. It allows me to be able to create that level of awareness of, okay, so this is what I desire. This is why I need to be in the 5D or in a state of joy. So what do I need to do to get myself up those stairs to that and there's going to be times that you're in the 5d and all of a sudden you're down in 3d and you're like oh i have feelings and it's fine you just need to you know put yourself back up there but here's the thing is that in order to hold that duality it is so important that you are still honoring your 3d self that when something comes through for you that maybe is not not good, then you need to be able to feel those feelings because what happens for a lot of people, so they went and they watched The Secret or they read the book and they think about the laws of attraction and they think to themselves, well, in order for me to, you know, get something or to manifest something, I need to be happy all the time And so what happens is you have something negative happen in your life or a negative thought or a feeling and you're like, you know what? I'm not going to cry. I need to be happy because I'm going to bring in something negative. Like I can't, I can't do that. So it's like you stop this process of feeling your feelings and that is how it gets stuck in your body. That is how energy gets stuck and that creates money blocks. We go into releasing money blocks in abundance codes. But that is the process that you need to go through is 
To hold duality is allowing yourself to feel the feelings and knowing that you've put what you desire into the 5D, into the quantum, and knowing that it's there for you. Also knowing the importance of, you know, allowing those feelings to come through. So it's be able to hold both at the same time, which can be difficult sometimes. You know, there's the allowing yourself to feel it, but the knowing that this is already happening and that's okay. You're allowed to feel it, right? This is how people are able to create the compound or quantum leap is that when you see people who are maybe, you know, they are manifesting and they're bringing in all these things and you're like, how are they doing this? I can't even manifest one thing. This is the reason why they say it's very difficult for people to um, make 10K in their business. And once they hit those 10K months, it becomes way easier. And it's because your mindset and your beliefs change, right? And so how this works is that when you are in the 5D, so when you manifest something, something good comes into your life, you feel really good about it, right? Which makes it easier to put yourself in the 5D. It makes it easier for you to hang out in a state of bliss, joy, happiness longer. So then all of a sudden you're think to yourself like, whoa, what if I could get this? And it comes to you quicker because you aren't dropping into a 3D state. You're actually hanging out in that realm. So if you are someone who really struggles with gratitude or receiving, this would be something that you need to heal for sure. Because when you do receive, or maybe you question when you manifest something, If you can heal this piece, it's really going to help you maintain that 5D feeling. And if you go in and you listen to the episode, Abundance and Manifestation Explained, this is going to make more sense to you when I talk about that because I talk about the boomerang effect and having more gratitude and feeling good and how that relates to all of this that I'm talking about right now. So that is how that compound effect happens is that you feel good and you compound onto the good feeling, which then creates those quantum leaps. Now we have to remember this works the same way with something negative. So this is the kind of things where you think to yourself, oh my goodness, why do all these shitty things keep happening to me? Well, the quantum realm is both good and negative thoughts, okay? So because of that, you're going to really be mindful of those situations, but we don't necessarily need to obsess over those negative thoughts. Like I said, we need to allow ourselves to feel the emotions, feel the feelings, and hold the duality of what is possible for you. And so my coach likes to talk about predictable, possible, and potentiality. And those are the kind of things that allows us to release that control. So if there's ever something that you want to connect with in that regard, my coach Melanie Ann Lair is amazing for that. I'm going to drop a link in the description. Her E3 masterclass that she did It was amazing for explaining her concept of um, predictability, possibility, and potentiality. So from more of a standpoint of the feelings side of things, but I kind of like the sciencey, nerdy visualization piece. I feel complete. I feel like I've given you a lot to digest and allow you to start understanding how these dimensions work and how they work together. So hopefully this allows your creative juices to start flowing and I will see you on part three where we are going to talk about gratitude, creating rituals and routines that align to you. So I trust that this was helpful to explain how this all works listen to this over and over and over again 
to continue to download how this all works for you. And I will see you on the next one. Go out there and make life your bitch. Thanks for listening to this episode of the Make Life Your Bitch podcast. If you enjoyed what you heard today, please share it with your bestie. And if you haven't already, subscribe, rate, and review the show on your favorite podcast player. If you have any questions, feedback, or compliments that you want to throw like confetti, you can reach me directly at podcast at makelifeyourbitch.co. Thanks for listening.